why Central Florida and Orlando home buyers should not be waiting for the crash in real estate prices. I'm a Remax realtor Scott Garrison, and we're going to talk about why you don't want a crash, why you shouldn't be waiting for a crash. Prices are up, and lots of buyers are saying, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the market to go down. I'm going to wait for a massive correction. We're just going to wait it out till it's not competitive anymore. Here's why you don't want a crash. Well, let's first let's look at like why prices are going up. So two years ago, the average home in Orlando, three bedroom, two bath, maybe a two car garage, 1,300 square feet, $245,000. Okay, so last year it went from 245 to 270 in just 12 months. But then in the last 12 months, it's gone from 270 to $318,000 in 24 months. It's competitive. You have to pay over full price to get something and buyers say, we're going to wait. Here's why you don't want to wait. What people assume when they say they're going to wait, they assume that something's going to happen to make Orlando real estate prices go down while their stocks and mutual funds stay the same. It wouldn't in a crash. They're assuming that they'll still be employed in a crash, which a lot of times they won't. They'll assume that they're going to want to have a lot of money for down payment and closing costs during a crash, which they usually don't. And one of the things that we're all susceptible to is the quality of the news and what they're recommending. And during a crash, everyone in the news is saying, oh, don't buy. And let's face it, most people follow that. So the people who are waiting for prices to go down are probably the last people who are actually going to buy when prices do go down. So let's assume that a worldwide economic collapse happens so people can buy their real estate cheaper. Let's say they don't like that price. Something does happen, causes real estate prices to plummet. It's only plummeted once in the last hundred years and just for a couple of years. Let's assume we have a 20% market correction. 318,000, you take off 20%, and real estate prices have now crashed to that number right there. Now let's look at what it was two years ago. 245,000, that's higher. So even if two years ago people have been waiting for 24 months for it to crash, even if it does, prices still won't be as low as what you could have got a house for two years ago. Here's another thing that will probably happen in the crash and is going to happen anyway, and that's interest rates are going to rise. How do I know that? Because they can't be any lower. If the interest rates got any lower, they would actually be paying us to take their money, which isn't going to happen. So they have to rise, and that makes property more expensive. So here's what happens when we see today's high prices and we decide we're going to wait. It's guaranteed that this number will go up every month, pretty much forever. Now, it may slow down but it's not going down. Here's another thing that happens if they wait. Closing costs go up. It used to be a couple of years ago, you could get a house for about $6,000 in closing costs if you got new financing. Now it's about $8,000 because of the cost of everything has risen. Interest rates go up, you know what happens? You buy the same house, even cheaper, but you pay more money for it per month because the rates are now higher. When's the best time to buy a house? The best time to buy a house is always 24 months ago. Imagine if 24 months ago you would have bought a house at this price and it was worth this price right now. So as I tell people who are looking for a house to live in, buy a house, buy that, buy that house, buy just buy that, buy buy a house, any house. Don't die. Two or three years later, with appreciation, you'll be a genius. The only mistake you can make if you're thinking about waiting is actually waiting. If you need a house, if you can buy a house, if you can afford to buy a rental, any of those, it's almost a no-lose. Compare that to Bitcoin, compare that to your stocks and bonds. Even if it does go down temporarily, which it never has, it's going to go right back up again. So I'm Remax Realtor Scott Garrison. If I can help you or anyone you know, help her buy a house. I've been doing it for 35 years. Thanks. Thanks.